Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mallet, and I'm going to show you how to find elapsed time using a t-chart. The I can statement is, I can determine elapsed time in hours and minutes when given a start time and end time. The vocabulary you need to know is elapsed. So what is elapsed? Well, when you start an activity and then you continue doing it and then you stop or when it ends, that time you were doing it is the elapsed time. The time you spend doing something is that time that has elapsed. So for this problem, the start time that I have is 2.35. The end time is 5.25. I'm looking for the elapsed time. So I'm going to go ahead and start this t-chart just the way you would any t-chart, the big T. I'm going to label this side with time and this side with hours and minutes. So since I know my start time, I'm going to go ahead and write that, and it's 2.35, and right here next to it, I'm going to write start, because that's my start time. Now, it's pretty easy to count in fives, tens, fifteens, thirties, and by the hour. So I wanna go ahead and bring 2.35 to 2.45, and I can do that by adding 10 minutes. 235 plus 10 minutes is 245. Now I know that it only takes 15 minutes to get to the next hour, which is 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and add 15 minutes and make it 3 o'clock. It's a lot easier to work with hours instead of hours and minutes. So now that I'm at three o'clock, I look back at my end time and I can go all the way to 525 or at least five o'clock. So from three to five, there are two hours. So I am going to add two hours. Three o'clock to four o'clock is one hour and then four o'clock to five o'clock is the next hour. So if I add two hours, it will be five o'clock. So now that I'm at five o'clock, I'm only 25 minutes away from my end time of 525. To go from five to 525, I just need to add 25 minutes. So now that I have my end time, I'm done finding the elapsed time. However, I need to group up the units and add them together to go ahead and find um, the totals for each of the units. So right here I have minutes together, which equal 25 right there. And then I have two hours and then I have minutes again. So I need to add these minutes up. Never forget your units. So I have 25 minutes up here and I also have 25 minutes down at the bottom. I have 50 minutes total. So I have, my elapsed time was two hours and 50 minutes. Again, I got that by adding up all the minutes that I have here. I have 10 minutes here, 15 minutes here, and 25 minutes here. And then I have two hours here. You can't mix up the units and add them together. So from 235 to 525, two hours and 50 minutes have elapsed. Well, I hope this T-chart helps you solve any elapsed time problems that you might encounter. Good luck.